Welcome to Explore Vegan ATX Quarantined Edition. We're here with one of our faves from season one, Sergio from Nisi Vegmex. How are you doing, Sergio? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing really well. It's it's a weird time we're living in. So um, I think all our viewers and all your fans want to know how you're doing, um, you know, with this COVID pandemic happening right now. Uh, well, it did a... We did have a, a, a big impact in our in our business um, because um, we have uh, employees that have little kids and that uh, some of, some of them are you know have uh, <clears throat> uh, health issues and uh, we have uh, little kids too and we now with this with, with the whole COVID nineteen. Uh, whatever's going on, it's like uh, I, I'd rather not risk anything because it's we want to come back to 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 a family, you know, after the day. So we decided just to minimize risk and just to close down. Gotcha. Just yeah. So we we've been closed since uh, since the it started uh, the outbreak, maybe like mid March, a little bit before the the South by South. Once everything started. Uh, uh, popping up or we decided to close down because we, we try to minimize risk. Mm -hmm. I know with like the new sort of like easing of restrictions, are you guys planning on opening anytime soon? We have planned, uh, you know, when the state, when the, the governor, uh, Greg, they, he announced on May 1st that everything's going to be back open and this and that. And I was like, wait let me let me just wait because it didn't make sense that um he said uh that you don't have to wear a mask so the virus is still out here there's not a cure but <clears throat> you're opening like if it was and now if you don't have a mask if you're not required to wear a mask it's a huge risk so i could be wearing my mask but if, if one person is sick and it's close nearby or whatever then I have a, a, a larger possibility to get sick so we wanted to see the first wave when uh <clears throat> like in like the since May how the numbers are spiking up now we're just keeping a close eye on uh on what the the politicians say like they say they 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 were the numbers are back up and and so it's just like the like it's trying to just play safe you know right and um, I guess, so how can we support you, um, you know, as patrons, as followers, fans of yours? Um, I know you had um, some, you were selling like your carne, vegan carne asada and things like that by the pound. Are you still doing that? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we don't have any donation pages or anything like that. I, I come from a background that uh, we believe that we have to work hard for our money. If we want to get some money, you know, it's not, nothing is free. You know? And I'm pretty sure that there are other people that are going through a struggle too. But, and, you know, I'm not, I feel like I, I should work for it. So we decided, okay, since we're during the quarantine, we're like, okay, we are required to be at home unless you're in the same So when you're at home, you have a higher chance that you're going to turn on your, your gas range or your, you know, like you start cooking more often so but sometimes you run out of ideas like oh what am i going to cook today or you know so we decided to make uh to sell the proteins by the pound but to have at least those available and it was completely contactless where it was uh uh people will order via venmo and they'll place it and then we'll have a an our announcement uh, announce it on uh, instagram and facebook and then people will just uh place your order and then tell them I just tell them where to pick it up the times and if they wanted like it like extra like maybe salsas tortillas you know like something that would complement because some people I mean if, even though it's carne asada and alpha store we had those two available um they they were making it in salads they were making like their own versions so not it's not not not, not only like in tacos but they had like, like quesadillas and you know stuff like different different versions so it was interesting how uh, to see how people have their version of their like their tacos or their flavor like like their home how they make it at home so that was a, a good thing but um yeah so so we decided to make that available and uh 
and the people that if they want to support, um, they can uh, maybe get a pound or two or check us out. And uh, but we don't do it every weekend. We do it like every other weekend or just about. Cool. That's great. So you announce that on your Facebook and Instagram pages, right? So people can just keep a lookout for when you're when you're doing it for that weekend. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take we take the pre-orders, and okay. uh, I usually start opening the orders like a week and a half in advance, and they pay Venmo, yeah, Venmo, and uh, they go there and they pick it up from like the from from the table, and we make sure everything is is just ready to go. Okay. Perfect. Yes. That's a, I think that's a great way of handling this. Um, is there anything else you sort of want to add or tell people, your followers, that um, that you want to say during this time? Oh, well, we highly appreciate everyone because uh, we have uh, received a lot of support whenever we do sell the proteins, and we want to make sure that we give it back and, and make sure that if you purchase the pound, make sure you say, "Man, this was totally worth it." Because I really enjoyed it, and you know, and then we, we put a, a lot of a lot of work and a lot of love into our food, and we highly appreciate that you guys are enjoying it. And and um, yeah, uh, I hope uh, this ends soon because we want to uh, come back to work, and we want to you know provide this uh, service, and, you know, um, so where you can have the tacos that were available already made or. You know, the nachos or flautas, you know. <laughs> I miss those flautas. I still think about those. <laughs> yeah, but, so, yeah, we, we, we're hoping uh, there's like a solution soon so that we minimize risk. Well, we uh, wish you all the best and I miss the flautas. I can't wait to come back in person and have some more of those. So um, a big thanks to uh, Sergio from UC Vegmex. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best, and um, we'll continue to find ways to support you and small business. Man, I appreciate it, and thank you for for uh, taking time and to do this uh, interview. Yeah, Ho hopefully exactly. soon, it'll be soon in person. Yes, hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, Roddy, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Thanks again. Thanks.